Hi, I'm Oscar van Deventer and this is the Pennyhedron Senior. Before I'm uh, explaining the Pennyhedron Senior puzzle, I'm first going to explain to you the classic Pennyhedron puzzle by Stuart Coffin. And the uh, uh, Pennyhedron, it is, uh, consists of uh, 12 identical rhombuses that make a rhombic dodecahedron. And to make things uh, easy, I uh, gave them two different uh, colors. And the object of this puzzle is to pull it apart and to remove the penny. Well, obviously, uh, this version uh, may look uh, quite simple, but surprisingly, uh, even this uh, version uh, sometimes confuses people. But uh, when you have uh, a pennyhedron, uh, well, I've made another version with another uh, pattern, but uh, when the pieces are together, then if you don't know where to put your fingers, um, you can get a whole time stuck um, before you know how to uh, take it apart. And especially for the original pennyhedron, if you are just pulling with two fingers, then none of the positions will work, because the pennyhedron requires three fingers uh, from both sides. Of course, uh, there exists also a junior version of the pennyhedron, which is uh, just a simple cube, and when the parts go together, uh, the object is to pull it apart. Uh, obviously, this is uh, not a very difficult uh, puzzle, but uh, um, still uh, a lot of fun. Uh, the friction is a bit too low for this one, so uh, next version should be made a bit tighter. But anyway, let's go to uh, Pennyhedron Senior. So uh, instead of a cube or a rhombic uh, uh, dodecahedron, we have a rhombic triacontrahedron. So, um, uh, I'm going to take it apart, and I prepared it already, and you see, these are 30 faces, rhombic faces, and uh, everything goes together. Um, but once things are together, then suddenly we have no clue where are the seams. So uh, when you pull, you don't uh, know um, where to pull. So this uh, uh, trick really uh, works well. The way that I... Uh, um, put together this uh, puzzle is by uh, using uh, a 3D printed uh, jig. So uh, let's see uh, whether I can uh, give uh, another demonstration of pulling it apart. There we are. So what I did was uh, to put uh, individually printed rhombuses uh, into the jig and then uh, use these uh, little connectors to connect them and then put a lot of glue and the ridges that you see at the side, these are glue stops to make sure that none of the glue oozes out to the outside. So that's the way uh, um, by uh, putting this into the jig, then the other side, and then put pressure on it, uh, you can uh, really get uh, a puzzle that uh, works very well. And as you can see, um, there is no way of seeing how to open it, so you really need to uh, keep trying and trying. So this is what makes the Pennyhedron Senior um, f quite difficult. And uh, the question that I would like to ask to you is about the original Pennyhedron puzzle by uh, Stuart Coffin. Stuart Coffin has designed lots and lots of uh, very interesting mechanical puzzles. And the question is, what is Stuart Coffin's most famous puzzle? Thank you for watching.